timing change is accelerating due to the rampant use of fossil fuels. And unless we shift the massive uptake of renewable energy, then we could advance to first in profit and keep global temperatures below 1.5 degrees. Biggest contributor to carbon emissions are the transport and energy sectors that use most fossil fuels and emit the most greenhouse gas emissions. During this pandemic, people was able to pay attention closer to the environment and see how this is important to their lives. That what the world needed right now is action to be able to rise up and heal the world again. And these are the things to mitigate hazards. Water conservation helps reducing greenhouse gas emissions and keep us from health hazards for it reduces carbon footprint. Reduced water waste. Another way to mitigate hazards is to plant trees. As trees develop, they help bring store and sink to carbon dioxide that would something else contribute to global warming. Planting trees. Another thing to mitigate hazard is to practice waste management. For it will help our place to avoid landfill emissions that reduces greenhouse gas emissions. Waste management. One solution to climate change is to conserve energy as it lessens pollution to our environment. Conserve energy. Clothes are releasing toxic gas. When they decompose in landfills, they release carbon dioxide and methane into the environment. And this way, thrift shopping is the ultimate way to leave out the reduced reuse recycle model. Another tip is online selling. Another, another simple way to survive global warming is to walk than driving your service vehicle because it reduces the amount of carbon dioxide produced. Walking. Last but not the least is to speak up. Raise your voice and choose not to be coward. For the more we talk and share about climate crisis, people get to learn the key facts on climate change that results in individuals to be minded with their small actions. Speak up. Lastly, let's help mitigate hazards. Prevent climate change, prevent global warming.